even coming off that win, how good is this team feeling right now? You know, we're doing really good. We're on a roll right now, but, you know, we can't get too ahead of ourselves. We know we have a lot of big games coming up, but right now we're really just focused on South Dakota right now and just getting one win at a time. Is there a parallel here, perhaps, coming off a nice win and then facing a team whose record, you know, doesn't necessarily speak well of them, trying to stay focused? Yeah, that's sometimes the hard part because, you know, South Dakota, they are they're a good defensive team. They run after the ball. They play very hard. You know, their record doesn't really show that. So we can't really focus on the record right now. we just got to focus on the game plan, watching film, and be as prepared as possible for them. How's the offensive line grown over the last few weeks? I think we're doing really well. We've shown in the past three weeks that we're a very physical line. We're working really hard. We're having less missed assignments each game. So we're showing that we're growing and we're learning, you know, because we are still young. So I think as we gain experience, we also gain confidence. Follow up to Jim, November has not been a pleasant month the last couple of years. How do you avoid, you know, that? I, just like I said earlier, I think it really is taking one game at a time, you know, because we don't even talk about rankings around here. I honestly don't even know what rank we are. So I'm just focusing on South Dakota. And I think as long as we do that, we don't get ahead of ourselves. And really, November is not a big deal because we just take one game at a time. Is it hard sometimes to get that point across to younger kids who might not be used to that kind of growth? Yeah, in past years, we've definitely you know, had trouble with that. Last year, you know, we were worried about North Dakota State before we were worried about Northern Iowa and all that. And you know, Coach Wolford has really made that a point of emphasis to really focus, be live in the moment. Just take each day, make Tuesday and Wednesday a great work day, and continue to get better every day. Coach kind of changed his practice where Thursday's a light day and Friday's more work. Do you see that paying off? I think it is. You know, it, it just helps us to, it doesn't seem, make the week seem as long. You know, before it was like Monday through Thursday, it was kind of a drag, but now we know Tuesday and Wednesday, we got to go to work and then they'll take care of us on Thursday. Offensive line was the offensive line of the week. Yeah, yeah, we had a real good week. It was a good week for us. Yeah, a couple weeks ago, you guys weren't getting anybody in that list. <laughs> 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 yeah, Coach Wolf and Coach Carmen has really been on us a little bit, and we've, I think, we responded. What was the difference in the run game this past weekend? It looked like you know Martin Ellen hopping his step. <laughs> you know, some of that might be the practice. I don't, I don't really know, but I think a game plan had a lot to do with it. You know, we decided to run a lot more outside zone rather than inside zone, and I think that definitely helped us get on the edge more because we're a lot more athletic at tackle. How much did you guys kind of take to that? You know, we need to be more physical than then approach. You know, how much was that in your head last week? I think a lot because you know the past couple of years they have physically dominated us and. You know, it kind of left a bad taste in our mouth just because we we like to think of ourselves as a very physical team, and for them to out physical us, that was you know that didn't sit well with us. So we really just wanted to out go out there and you know kind of whoop them a little bit. What have you seen from South Dakota's front? Um, I think they only have two sacks on the year. Which mm -hmm. is that misleading or it is because they they run an odd defense, and it's always kind of get it's hard to get a you know, get everyone on the same page with the O-line, quarterback, running back. So they do a lot of stuff that will try and confuse you. I think that's, you know, one of my biggest jobs to get the quarterback, a young quarterback, on the same page and making sure they know what the protection is so we can get the ball off. Stephen, in 65 out there now and Saturday's calling for, you know, 30 in the rain, maybe some snow. Is that hard to practice, you know, in this weather than prepare for a game in that weather? Yeah, it's, it's quite an adjustment, especially, you know, we have a lot of kids from Florida who may not be used to the weather. So it is hard to adjust. Um, I'm hoping, you know, it won't snow on Saturday, you know, just, you know, because we've been used to playing in warmer weather, so our body's kind of adjusted to it. But I, th I think we'll be all right as long as we just stick to the game plan. It is the ice castle. It is the ice castle. <laughs> How is uh, Hunter in the does he act like a true freshman? Not at all. He's he's one of the most confident kids in the backfield I've ever seen. He's you know he's going in there making calls. You know he he plays like a veteran quarterback, which is very surprising. And I just hope he keeps it up. Yeah, because he's kind of timid in press conferences. Yeah, he's a soft-spoken uh, kid, but on the game field, he you know he 
me and him even got into it a little bit on the game. You know, I made one ID, he made another, and we got in a little bit of a yelling match. But he, he really, you know, just has confidence out there, and really, you know, as as we know, we can he can sling the ball a little bit. I like it. You know, it's a nice flow. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> it's a competition. I don't know. <laughs> Would you dye your beard that color? <laughs> I actually do have a bet going. <laughs> yeah, so if we win conference, I got to dye the beard. Got to dye the beard? Yeah. What color? Blonde. Oh, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> sacrifice. Who bet you on that? What's the uh, I think we were just, me and Trevor were just talking about it, I think. I can't wait to see it. <laughs>